What's up guys? This is another Alpine product review or opening unboxing, however you want to call it, but this is the new radio. Alpine INE W970 HD. We're about to open it and see what's inside. So hopefully you guys can hang out with me still or just chill, watch the video. Okay, let's get it. Let's go ahead and open it up. As always, we get the manual. We get the bag. Items, like all the stuff that's inside it. Part of like RCAs and stuff. Trim piece. Let's get smart with it. And the... So, let me tell you guys one thing that I like about this unit is the navigation is built in. So if you're in a remote area where you don't have reception and you're not trying to rely on the Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, this is gonna be better because it has built-in navigation. It can get up to like probably 20 satellites. So we'll go ahead and put the camera facing down. Open it up. So I see here, it has this thing right here, the casing, the cage. You know, they didn't really have a cage before. Let's take this off. The cage is new. Now this is the 6.5, not the bigger screen. Here you guys go. This is the Alpine INE W970 HD six inch screen. You got the settings button. You got the microphone, Navi, which I think this is probably like if you're gonna have Siri or Android Auto. You got your main menu button, your audio button, your um, volume up and down. And where's the eject? Oh, this is an eject button as well. Cool. But behind it, you have two USB slots. Let me turn around for you guys. You have two USB slots. You got the XM module. You got the GPS module. You got antenna adapter. Um, this is not in here. I bet you this used to be a fiber optic cable input. The HDMI the car if which is probably like vehicle information oh this is the rca so pre out it stands for the amplifiers um front rear and sub and then the power of plug right i don't know what this is for it has these rubber things right here this is cool i don't know maybe some protection of some sort but wouldn't want to lose that there's only one on one side there's not one on both but it does fall out like randomly See what they give you so they give you the trim plate they go over the radio if you're going to utilize the sleeve right cool the manual the warranty card and then in the big bag we have the microphone keys and set screws gps antenna a usb extension and this looks different than all the extensions they've ever had it's gray instead of black that's a new color plug for the um, amplifier system Here's the IF section, and it looks like it has video, our rear seat entertainment video. You got rear camera, front camera. So there's two camera inputs. And then it looks like maybe an auxiliary. Yeah, auxiliary input. And this is for the steering wheel control or aux remote out. And this is the steering wheel control right here. Oh, speed sensor or mic input. So this is cool, I like that. Here's the power wire, power harness. Everybody's seen one of those before. And an additional USB extension. Now, this is the one we all seen before plenty of times. But why are there two? So there's a gray one and a black one. The gray one looks a lot thicker, looks a lot more beefy. So there you go. That's it, that's all that's in here. Now, we'll power it up soon, and you guys will be able to see it. Oh, I'm upside down. <laughs> In a little bit, I'm gonna power this bad boy up, and uh, we'll get some, we'll see what it look, what it does and what it works, how it works, okay? So one thing I like about it better, GPS is built in, you're not relying on your phone. It's more accurate, and it has two USB inputs, and it has a, HDMI input. Now it doesn't have HDMI output, but there's one radio that does, and that's the uh, universal piece, the eight inch. Cool, so they just finished that up. This is the vehicle that they installed it in. And we're about to check out what it looks like. 
fun fact that this guy's actually a neighbor of mine. He lives where I live in the area. So found my store, but we didn't know until he got here. Cool, right? All right, let's jump in here and see what's going on. All right, guys, so I got the radio installed and this is what it looks like. So we got our buttons here and we got two displays in the time. And then also you can see the phone information. That's cool. So I'm assuming I've never used this unit. Okay, so we're going to walk through it and just explain. A lot of people said last time I should have learned it first, but I don't have time, you know. So touching the FM button obviously it takes us to the radio. So you got an AM button, an FM button, a home button, your presets, your seek, your skip, skip the radio stations. It has HD radio. So HD radio is nice. So right now, let's say this is 99.1 and it's HD. So you should have multiple. So when that HD kicks in, did you see it kick in? That's that. Uh, that's the change the presets. Everything's gonna kick in. Let's bring this down. Sound settings. This is to go back to the main menu. Okay. And um, let's go to the navigation. So if you touch that, it gets you with the navigation. Um, if you're gonna put an address in, Oh, this is cool. It tells you house is up or down. It has this menu right here. So this is where the route information is. You can go through settings, updates, 3D, the voice on or off, contacts. I like this. And the one thing I'm getting at right now is that it is easy to, to it, like, it's really responsive. Now we're gonna see if it has multiple touch points. Nope, you cannot zoom in or out. Yeah. Is it? No. No, it's not zooming in and out. So I think you can turn there and you can zoom in and out through this thing. Okay. So that's, that's, it's not a multi touch screen, but I mean, you figure probably for the price, that's what it's going to be. Okay. So you got the compass and let's get out of here. So is there a back button like that one? No. So to get back, you would hit this button here. Okay, and then you get all your settings. And by the way, this is gonna be obviously the main menu button. So you have my menu, which is gonna allow you to have your favorites. If you like a certain section, you're always using it, you're gonna hit the favorites button. Let's go back. Um, here's Android Auto. So Android Auto, got my phone connected to it. Android Auto is gonna give us the music. It's gonna give you your navigations, the one you like to use, which is Waze, and you know, Google Maps, and all that stuff. So. I hit that button, it went to the to the music, which is cool. Then you can go here and see what songs you want to listen to. Okay, and then um, hitting this button is the home button for the menu of the Android Auto. And this home button is the menu for the radio. So I have my anchor where I have the um, music, have audibles, phone, iHeartRadio, Google Maps, news, reminders. So this is cool. So these are the apps that it has, and I'm sure you can go on and get other apps. So here's a button that's gonna be important because it's gonna allow you to do your voice command. So let's just say, call audio systems. There are two people with that name, Javier Junior Audio Systems or Audio Systems. Which one do you wanna call? Audio Systems. Calling Audio Systems, work. Cool. And then the microphone, we installed it up here. And now it's making the phone call for us. And I hung it up. Because they know it's me calling. We have call already. So um, you can go to your Waze navigation. You can go to any other navigation. Um, the radio, slide over. You get the HDMI input, auxiliary, backup camera, which there's the backup camera. Hmm. There's no view. Probably not install. Anyways, we need to install one. All menus, and you got the navigation. So let's go back to the home. This is our home page. This is gonna give you that page. Let's go see what the settings button does. So the setting button allows you to get jumps right into the um, the sound. So you got bass treble, fader control. Uh, let's get out of here. See what else? What other settings? So that's gonna be that. Okay, so if you hold it, let's let's see what happens when you hold it. Nothing happens when you hold it. Okay, so audio. Oh, okay. Okay, so this is the source button right here. 
the audio. So it's gonna allow you to switch over to different sources. Um, the Navi button, push it, you get Navi. If you push it again, you get to the main menu. Push it again, you get the searches. Cool, so if you push this button, there's multiple menus in that button. That's cool, I like that. Uh, let's go back and hit this button. What if you hit this one multiple times, no? Okay, so let's get out of there and let's go to the settings. Here's the settings page. And we got the sound settings. Let's see what kind of sound sound stuff that they have available. So I see here there's tone and fader, which was the button that we were at. Then you got subwoofer control. And the subwoofer, you can turn it off, you can turn it on. If you turn it on, you have the levels, you got the phase, you have the MX mode, which is media expander, which is like more compressed you have, the more you can open up that out. Uh, EQ presence, you have all the EQs. Um, crossovers, that's good. Front, rear, sub, that's right there. See it changing it. Um, you, time correction, default key sounds, turn them louder or lower, mute while backing up, default settings, that's cool. So if you have ever messed up with your settings, you can just hit the default and you'll be back in business. Um, what else we got here? Visual, you got the disc, auxiliary, HDMI, camera. So camera, you can, you can play with the settings in the camera, that's cool. Um, HDMI, you can change the contrasts on the, the video, auxiliary. So this is like the video set, visual settings as far as like how do you want it to look. Uh, screen, screen lighting, key illumination, you can make it brighter or darker, the dimmer automatically, color screen, you can change the colors of the screen, which is, see the, the button, how it's changing colors, white, red, see the button's red, blue back illumination color which is these buttons you can change that's awesome do they have scrolling ice white i think this car is a uh, green so we can put it green um cool text to scroll on that's for the screen now let's go to the general settings which is probably going to be all screen saver oh you can have analog a couple other ones none Language, system info, gives you the firmware, demo mode, on or off, factory resettings, all that. Okay, we're gonna go to car, steering wheel control, installations. Okay, that's that. XM, we don't have XM installed. Check tuner. Auxiliary, HDMI, camera. So this is cool, I like this. You can adjust the guidelines on how you want it to go. Turn them on or off, go back to default, um, adjust hitchman settings, camera status, rear, other. And the time. Obviously the clock, everybody wants to use it, but, but yeah. Android Auto would probably be one that should be in there. So you hold it, you scroll it in there and it keeps it. Um, so there's all these menus in there, iPod, Hold it, put it in there, navigation. You want that in there. That's freaking awesome. So now you have those settings in your menu, but you can edit them all any any way you want. Um, can these be moved? Okay, those can't be moved, but yeah. What do you guys think? Uh, if you have any comments or any other uh, questions, please call us and let us know. And um, I am using customer's cable, which is just a random cable. It's hooked up to the um, it's hooked up to the phone. I'm running Android Auto Galaxy S9. I'm not S9, the, the Note 9. And yeah, that's it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Cool, so I was glad I was able to show you guys the Alpine Radio, what's inside the box, how does it operate, and you guys gotta have a first glance at it. I got a first glance at it. It was cool trying to learn what it does on the fly. But uh, any questions, like I said, put them in the uh, comments and I will help you out. Also subscribe, hit that button or this button. I don't know where it's at. Subscribe and I will give you more content. As the end of the year is here and new product will be coming out, I'll be putting more how to's or even more on how to use these units, what they look like when they're turned on. And if you guys have something you want to know how it works, 
leave it in the comments and I will find out how to make that video. Thanks guys, this is Anthony, I'm signing out, peace.